Okay, you're on. Thank you very much, Joseph. Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, what is this about my life being in danger? Tell him, Rick. Dum, da dum, dum. We have in this bag evidence which proves your new boat is unhealthy. Not to mention, uninhabitable. Exhibit A. Dum, da dum, dum, dum. One freight electrical cord. By the way, your toaster's not working. Why isn't my toaster working? It's not plugged in. I'll buy a new toaster. That doesn't mean that the lighthouse is uninhabitable. Show them exhibit B. This oozed out of your kitchen sink. All right, well, I know that the pipes are a little bit rusty, but, you know, I'm very handy. I think I can fix that. You're being overly optimistic. That I can fix the plumbing? That you have plumbing. We saw the rust disguised as pipes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Should we tell them about the bathroom? Philip, dear, do you remember what? that... Oh, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Here. Thank you. <clears throat> do you remember that movie about the um, car that was evil that kept attacking people? Yeah. Well, your shower... All right, all right. Look, I was the first one that said that this place needed work. All right? But what is life without a few challenges? I can handle it. You give me a little time, I will have everything in that place working like that, including the shower. Shower? Oh, gosh, you guys. What? I'm late for Reva's shower. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. No, mo no mother in her right mind's going to let you close to her baby oh, looking well, like I'll that. Oh, I'll take my chances. i got to go, you but, guys. Are you coming back? Yeah. I'll be seeing you as soon as I can. Bye. What the hell are you laughing about? You bozo. Admit it, you're crazy about her. Thank you, have fun. <laughs> Dinah, would you be sure to tell Vanessa how lovely her gift is? I will, when I see her. And Mom's been real busy lately. Yeah, tell me about it. Joshua's not here either. I can't imagine where he is. Well, that's a good question, because I just finished calling the construction company, and... Hopper said that Joshua left a while ago. He should have been here long before this. But it's so weird. I could have sworn I saw him pull up in a car when I was down on the porch. Oh, that's your imagination, Roxy. Why would he drive up and not come in? Don't be silly. I can think of one reason. Me. Reva, I am so I'm sorry I'm late. But congratulations. Okay. Thank you. I'm a little dirty. Yes. <laughs> I'll take it. Thank you. Rick and I have been helping Philip clean up his Whatever you've been doing, go wash your face and wash your hands right oh. now. Oh, now Mama. Listen, honey, when you were living at home, I couldn't get you to scrape your plate. Now you're playing cleaning woman for somebody just for fun. I have to have a talk with you, man. Not here at Reba's shower later. No, darling, ask for Reba's shower. Go wash your face. Later, because I want to go... Chelsea. What? Got your phone call? Jackson, over at the Blue Orchid. Says it's urgent. Okay. There's only one possible excuse. Explanation. Joshua obviously left work early, came here, saw me, and took off. Well, that might explain it. Well, maybe if I leave, he'll come back. No. No, please don't leave, H.B. I, I need you here. All right, darling. I'll stay as long as I can. But it'd be a better celebration if Joshua were part of it. Yeah, it sure would be. You up for some company? Hey, absolutely. Come on in. Take a load off. Thank you. How's the first day at work? The boys give you any trouble? No, no. Fine. Ah. Just great. Well, why the blueprints? You run into a problem you couldn't handle? No, I just wanted to show you some changes I made in the uh, structure of the north wall. Yeah. Uh, this was uh, Peachtree's original design, and uh, this is uh, this is what I had them uh, alter it to. What do you think, huh? Very, very good work. You know, I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't come along when you did. <laughs> like the man said, timing is everything. Yeah. Hey, speaking of timing, what are you doing here? Sarah told me about Reva's baby shower. You should be in full tilt by now. You're going to miss it. Come on, get your butt in gear. Yeah, I'll you? get around to getting there eventually. I just uh, wanted to check on you first. Can't let work get too out of hand, you know? Work? How do you think I got in the hospital to begin with? Come on, don't make my mistakes all over again. I can handle it, Cass. You're handling it, right? 
First day at work, here you are with me, after hours, instead of at your own baby shower. I'm just trying to do what's best, you know? Look, I appreciate the time you're putting in. Don't lose sight of what's important. I wouldn't let that happen. But running my business, that's only a job. But that gal of yours, that little baby daughter, that's your life. Remember that. with part two of Guiding Light in a moment. Has Walter come around yet, Doc? Walter? That's what I'm calling him. Till he comes out of that coma, he find out his real name. I always like that name, Walter. Mm. Well, his wound is healing very nicely. You have any leads as to who he is? Oh, but I hear the sheriff is circulating his description all over town, hoping that somebody will recognize him. Well, it certainly is peculiar. Usually a stranger comes around and everybody knows everything there is to know about them before they make it halfway down Main Street. <laughs> yeah, but he's not your run-of-the-mill drifter either. You see the clothes he was wearing when they found him? No. Nope. Silk underwear. Oh, Beulah. Well, it's the truth. That's as good a clue as any, that he's not from around these parts. Well, I suppose so. What gets me is how he fell into that ravine in the first place. And there was no sign of a car. Well, the way I figured, there was a car. Only somebody else drove away in it. And left Walter for dead? How else can you figure it? Oh, the poor fellow. Well, whoever it is, there's somebody out there that doesn't care for him at all. Ah, so Miss Langer was discharged. That's great. So, uh, how you uh, slave interns doing without me? I miss you guys, too. Oh, yeah, don't worry. I, th I bet the Cubs are going to take it this year, but then again, I thought the Celtics were going to take it in four. Hello? <laughs> Hello? So, how's everything going in the Windy City? Blowing right along. Yeah? You happy there? Work-wise, yeah, but I'll tell you something, buddy. Good to be home. Yeah. How's everything going at the journal? Still paying me to write. I can't beat that. Yeah, ever since we studied Fitzgerald in Miss Sims' class, I figured you'd end up being a writer. Mm -hmm. uh, but at least you're not behind some big desk at Spalding. There's something about that I, I just... You and me both. The further I get away from Alan in the business, the better I am. I really uh, know how you feel about that, buddy, believe me. Yeah. You know what a relief it is not to have somebody playing mind games with me anymore? Not to be wondering every second when the next skeleton was going to come crashing out of the Spalding closet? I, I finally found the solution. He no longer exists as my father, so he can't hurt me anymore. You really feel that way? Absolutely. Rick, if you could have seen how screwed up things got with Falaire. It was, it was just incredible. All the lies and all the pain that Alan caused because he loved me. He, he burned my house down. He almost killed his own sister. Johnny wound up in jail, and Chelsea was in the middle of the whole damn thing, all courtesy of my dear old dad. I know you're feeling a lot of anger, buddy. God knows you have a right to, but... Under that, underneath that, you've you got to be feeling a lot what? of pain. I, no anger, no pain. I feel great. I really do. I have retreated into my vast carelessness. And I'm enjoying every minute of it. Your deal. You're giving me more thought to seeing a professional. My tennis is fine. A professional. A man like Chelsea suggested. Yes, Will I Jeffers. know, I know. I haven't had time. Oh, yeah, of course so. With writing and cards, you must not have no time at all. Now you get the picture. Hey, see, hey, it's your own damn fault. If you weren't going back to Chicago, then I wouldn't need to see a shrink, because I could just talk to you. And be cheaper. You, be, listen Punch. to me. You listen to me. What? All right, we're close. We're too close. Oh, we're it's too true. Close. And this is line I am not going to cross with you because I learned by experience it doesn't do me any good at all. I mean, weren't 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 things going real well? Between